Yo, what up? King Koopa here. Today we got a very busy episode ahead of us. So, um, I realized I made a couple of mistakes. I was watching some other people play it, uh, last night, and I missed a lot of things. <laughs> I, I, ju I jumped straight into it too fast. So, this episode we're gonna kind of fix some of the mistakes I made and, uh, try to make our lives a little bit easier with better tools. Uh, concerning the tools that we were using. Alright, so let's just jump straight into it. Alright, so we're gonna hop on the boat here. Um, try to get this thing started. Uh, engine shut off. Nope. Good. Gear select. Probably need to put it into neutral. Oh, we got it. Alright, so they said the, um, still got a little better. Supposedly it's just straight across to the, uh, to the store here. Let's try to remember where we got out from. So, uh, if, if anybody knows, uh, I was trying to look around, but uh, if you know, comment down below. Um, how do you turn off those birds? <laughs> I've been looking around, I've been looking through the settings, can't find, is there a way to get rid of the bird sounds? Because, uh, wow, it's really raining here. Because those bird sounds, hearing that for like hours of time, driving me nuts. <laughs> if you know, leave a comment down below. I'll know for the next episode. Alright, we're pulling up a dock here. I hope we're at the right spot. Um, I don't see anything here. What is that? Is that the store? Go ahead and get this, this uh, boat parked. And uh, check it out. I guess going on a little adventure here. Nope, so we went the wrong way. That wasn't the, uh, that wasn't the right dock that we're supposed to go to. So, uh, started heading, looked at the map, and I think it's more towards this way. There's like, uh, some sort of a cow in, oh wait, is that it right there? Yeah, there's like a little hut and a cow. So I'm thinking it might be just right there. But just for our reference, we came from about there-ish. I think so. Well, we're almost there. We're making, uh, we're making headroom here. Alright, so we finally made it to town. I got a little envelope here. Uh, my guy's freaking dying up first. And I figured out that, uh, if we lean forward, we can drink. So how do we do this here? Oh, there you go. Well, one thing is down. One less thing to worry about. So let's uh, head on down to the store. Should be somewhere around here. Still hungry. He's super stressed, so we'll get him some smokes. And he's gotta pee. <laughs> Oh, there's this door. Alright, so let's get this uh, letter mailed out. Quick, quick here. So, oh, what do we have to do? Drop it in the post office. Did they accept it? Ah, no, esto me lukkata sinullekin. Like to, uh, pay my bill?
think it's in there. Hopefully we don't have to come back the next day. <laughs> that would suck. I tried to see some tutorials on it, but uh, nobody's. everybody seems to skip this step here. Just hoping it's not stuck in here. Hmm. Well, we mailed the thing out. Suppose we have to pay for it here. But I'm not seeing anything yet. Alright, sorry, I did a little bit of reading. And suppose we have to, uh, we have to come back in the morning, tomorrow morning. I'm gonna grab these cigarettes here. And, um, uh, head on back to, uh, head on back to the house. And then I'll, I'll come back on my own here tomorrow morning. Uh, to pick up the hoop. <laughs> I just threw my cigarettes. How do you open this? And then I to smoke. Yeah, so <laughs> I'll uh, go ahead and uh, head back to the house and wait for his call. And I'll just uh, fast forward to coming back to the store. He is still smoking that thing, isn't he? Look at him freaking go. One puff. One puff wonder. Well, at least the stress has gone away. Alright, finally, uh... Our orders in. Already uh, loaded up the boat with the. So, so already uh, loaded up our boat with uh, our groceries and stuff like that. So here it is. I think that's gonna make our lives a million times easier. This is gonna be awesome. All right, let me head on down to the boat here, and then uh, let's uh, head back to our house. All right, so we got the uh, boat all loaded up uh, with the ratchet set, some groceries, some oil, and stuff like that. Uh, we're just heading back on uh, to our house right now so we can get started on this build. All right, so we made it back to the house here. Uh, let me just go ahead and the... Drop some of these groceries. Oop, there's our belt. Uh, milk. Couple of different things here just to keep me, uh, keep me going. Oop. All right, so let's head over to um, let's go to the garage now. So what I noticed um, on our last episode here was um, I saw somebody else playing, and uh, there's a timing a chain right here that we have to get um, in time with the uh, the rest of the engine, and we totally missed that part. So it might not run at all properly. So let's go ahead and uh, not sure where. Oh yeah, that definitely a lot faster. Under these bolts here look like a smaller, smaller bolt. Um, I could remember this one. No, this one. There you go. That's ah, a little bit faster. Well, a lot faster. We still got to take off these bolts here. Maybe I should take this and move it a little 
closer for us. Go ahead and take these bolts off. Still a couple more bolts here. Oh, what is that? Come off now? No. What are we missing? All right, you see here, I just took apart the, uh, the time and shame cover and you see this small line over here. So it's way out of time. So I didn't, uh, I didn't align all the timing together. Supposedly we just, uh, oop. that's just, it came off. Put the time and chain back on and Nope, that's not working. Did we just shear off the whole bolt? <laughs> Why doesn't she want to go back on now? Oh, we took out the whole, uh, the whole thing here. Oh, now it's turning. I had to go uh, counterclockwise. I'm going to go ahead and uh, loosen this. Put this back in here. We could, hopefully. Tell me I have to take apart the whole thing again. All right, that was painful. I had to disassemble <laughs> disassemble the whole engine because when I put the um, camshaft in, I didn't tighten the bolts on the side. So when I touched the camshaft, it fell straight out, and I had to tear apart the whole engine again. So yeah, this is the thing I was talking about. You see this line here? Uh, you gotta put it in time. Put this this uh, line over there. So we'll get it as close as we can to this. Now it seems uh seems like it's in time now. Let's go ahead and uh Well we probably can't put this. Let me go ahead and uh put all this back together and uh yeah let's get on with it. Alright, we got the engine rebuilt. One hell of a time. <laughs> I was at it for uh, a little bit now. So uh, we finally got the engine on the hoist. So we'll be able to just uh, supposedly just jack this up here and then drop it straight in. Um, I'm not sure if I got everything correct. I know we have to uh, like play with a distributor and, and do all that stuff but I'm hoping that I can get it running enough that we'll leave the tuning to do by the the mechanic you can do the fine tuning of the engine and stuff like that hopefully so how does this work just uh, am I the right way the question I think we just go ahead and just drop this down here. Oh, no, I think we might have to go more in. Ah. Come on. Oh, 
Holy cow. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's a little crooked. Hopefully we're not doing any damage here. Ah, uh, looks like I'm gonna break my front windshield. <laughs> what is going on? Um... Yep, that looks alright. Let's call it a day. Yeah, so I totally had to uh, reload my game because it just uh, glitched completely through. So let's go ahead and uh, try this again here. Going a little forward, so let's uh, go ahead and back her up slightly. Trying to get this in best I can here. Is it touching something? And is that it. Yeah, sorry, I might have got this completely, totally wrong. Um, we don't have a sub frame in the car yet, so the engine's built. Uh, we're gonna get starting on that sub train, sub sub frame. Um, I just went. <laughs> I went in to go get something to eat and I just noticed this here uh, all our food I didn't think it would go spoiled I didn't put it in the fridge but um, yeah I don't know if it exploded or what happened <laughs> my floor is a mess I don't know if we have a mop or something to clean this up but all the food I bought went spoiled um, I think I still might have something in the fridge here that I could eat uh still stressed out so let me get that uh let me get the stuff get our uh health and everything back to normal here oh shit fuck stop <laughs> go back to go to bed for a little bit and then uh i'll start on the subframe all right so we're all rested up here um, let's go ahead and, uh, bring our ratchet set over here since I'm going to be working outside today. And I guess we'll start with the subframe. Go ahead and, uh, oh, I almost had it there. We got those in. There's a little bolt in the corner here. Never know the size of these bolts. Oh, there we go. One down. Oh, a little hidden, hidden bolt here. I just luckily landed on it. Uh, let's see if we can do it again. Oh. Alright, that's in. Uh, 
chill arm right RL. Right left. <laughs> left right. Oh rear left. Okay, this is uh this is at the back. Probably need the wishbone for the uh front left here. Gonna be the same nice same ratchet. I think we lost it inside the frame now. We might have to jack it up just so we can get off. Just so we can get off the floor so we'll... I don't think we attached our... Uh, our panel in the front properly there. to grab it. Are we missing a bolt? Pretty sure that I screwed that one down. Guess not. There's got to be a, probably a hidden bolt somewhere that we're missing out. Oh, we got the trailing arms. Spindle. Front right. Can we put that yet? Might be still missing a little something here. Oh, steering rack. look like a different type of bolt. There's that guy I'm talking about. I'm talking about with this boat here I'm in the background is like sounds like somebody's mowing their grass but uh, just that guy driving around on his boat all day long <laughs> he's one of like he's like one of those annoying neighbors what else do we have the struts front left uh, steering rod, front right. Yeah, we're definitely going to need these. Can we do them yet? Probably. Oh. Okay, there you go. Don't see where this one screws in from. Hmm. 
There's a big screw over there, but it might all screw together with another piece. Now this looks like a looks like a rear shock absorber. Front right. Holy shit. <laughs> Maybe I should put this last. All right, I see it now. We get, we still got a little bolt down there that we have to uh, tighten up first. Oh, did we get it? Wow, first try. Now let's try sticking this thing in here. All right, looks like, like uh, we're making progress. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that on the other side. All right, so we got the spindles on uh, both sides. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, since we're down here, throw on the uh, steering column. Almost died there. So we probably have two screws over here. Please don't fall. All right, that's done. And I gotta figure out what the push button is. We're gonna push it back onto the jack here. And I think it just fell down. Do we damage our uh, fender? Looks like it. Oh yeah, we totally forgot about these screws on the top here. Inch. Yeah. All right, so we finally got the subframe in. Uh I started chopping down the engine a little bit here and I think we can finally just start uh, locking in our engine finally. Let's go ahead and uh, tighten these bolts. Um, seems a little far from the engine but I think it's going in. See two bolts in front here. Maybe some in the back. Hmm. 
Well, that's those two. We might have to tighten that after. I think it might be in. Yeah, it's in now. There was that uh, last thing here. Go ahead and... Uh, I remember these are 10 inch sockets for the engine hoist. Go ahead and take this off. Now we can get rid of this uh, engine jack here. So we today we got in the uh, whole front subframe. We finished off some of the engine parts. Um, we still got a little, a couple of other things to touch up uh, that we're gonna have to do for the next episode. So next episode we'll finish off the rear suspension. Uh, do some a little bit of uh, things hanging around in front here and uh, Hopefully get this on the road by uh, at least started by next episode and then if it if it runs if it doesn't run We'll we'll see on the on next episode. All right, so this is gonna be all for me today uh, King Koopa here and uh, catch you on the next one